Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So as we had discussed earlier, we have created one CV which can be used as a template for freshers, right? Even the experienced people can use it, right? And in this video, we will be covering about the resume techniques, how to ensure a good CV from your site so that you get interview calls, you get shortlisted, right? So before that, uh, let's see few of the pointers that an individual should take care of while preparing his or her CV. Right. So the very first point is the CV should be concise. It should be precise. One or two pages is enough for a CV. Right. Then there should be proper spacing and formatting in the CV. Then dark or black color ink should should be used. Right. And some people are writing in blue or some people are writing in green. So that should be avoided. Black is looking professional. Right. Then. Uh, you should provide all the necessary information. One should avoid spelling mistakes, right? You can use uh, the editor tools. You can use the tools like Grammarly, which can help you to get rid of the spelling mistakes, right? Then in the header, you should have name, contact information, date of birth is again optional, right? So let me share that CV also so that you will get an idea of uh, how we should create Right. But before that, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. Right. Hitting the like button would actually motivate us to create such kind of videos. OK, so this is the. Header, right. Name is mentioned, right. Then these three things are important, right. For example, if you have a profile on LinkedIn, which is good to have, which is not good to, sorry, it is a must to have, right? Because from that only you would be able to get lots of references, lot of networking contacts and all those things. Then your GitHub. So the coding that you have done so far, right? So that should be available. Not only that, right? then a proper email address and the contact number. These two things should be at the top itself so that the people can reach out to you easily in which location you are in. For example, if the recruiter who is going through the resumes, he is looking for someone in a company which is located at Pune. And in your resume, you have mentioned Pune, then automatically this becomes a good fit, right? But if at the same time, if someone is in Ahmedabad, then he can come to know whether that person is willing to join, would be able to join or not, right? So location is very important. And uh, also, if you're looking for free mock interviews, then you can share your CV at this particular email address, right? You can also search RD Automation Learning on our Instagram and we can connect for career guidance kind of sessions. Right. So both these things, mock interviews as well as career guidance sessions, those are totally free of cost. Right. So please do hit like button on this video. Next is the introduction. In the introduction, you have to be very uh, generic. Right. Um, what kind of growth, what kind of organization you are looking. Right. So that is what will come in the introduction. Education. So looking at the education, whether you have received uh, good percentages, good scores, or you have received low grades, low scores, but still you have to mention those grades, those percentage, those numbers in your resume, right? Don't hesitate. Again, the university and what kind of graduation you have done at the same time, what subjects you have chosen, all those things should be taken care, right? So with respect to education, also there are a few points that you need to keep in mind see the education you have to provide in the reverse chronological section right grades are necessary as we have discussed right then what is experience okay experience is also very important in case of freshers in case of sorry freshers right they feel that they don't have any experience they haven't joined any company yet they don't do real time working but in case of Freshers, you should always give details about internships. You can give details about Bagathon that you have participated. For example, 
an XYZ bugathon that you took part in which you were able to find 12 to 15 bugs in the completion of two hours. You might be able to find six to seven bugs in completion of one hour. What kind of bugathon it was? Mobile testing application, web-based application, right? Any coding competitions that you have taken part of, part in, then any testing competitions that you have taken part in, then teaching experiences. For example, you have taught someone online, you have taught someone offline, right? So that is also very important, right? So let me show you education also. Right, so this is education. Then comes technical expertise. So one are the technical skills that you have, right? And the tools that you know, for example, SVN, Git, Selenium, WebDriver, these tools you already know. Then there are also, uh, you know, skills such as uh, public speaking, right? And then uh, if someone is good at writing and, and doing content writing. So those are non-technical things also you should include right so experience technical skills is done projects also you can mention what kind of projects you have worked on any source code you have or any link that you have which you can refer to test cases right again all these things you have to mention and at the end comes certification right what all certifications you have done and from which particular platform right so this is a one kind of a template one kind of a cv that you can customize apart from that there are a few other things that i would like to ensure that you put in your cv right so there are a few keywords that you should always put in your cv right so that you have to frame sentences statements based on your experience and you have to come forward right for example qa testing test cases Test scenarios, right? Test design, then uh, manual testing, right? Then uh, selenium, test automation, or you can also write automation testing, right? So based on important keywords, I'm telling you, Right, then uh, Agile, SDLC, SDLC, so these are testing test cases, also you can mention functional testing, if you have done non-functional testing mention that as well. Right. So these keywords are very important and what you should do is you should make some sentences, make some statements based on your expertise. I haven't framed these statements in the resume, in the template which I'm going to share, but you have to frame your statements based on your understanding because as soon as you will incorporate these keywords, definitely some question will be asked to you in real time, in the real interviews. Right. So you have to be prepared. Okay, so accordingly, you can frame the statements, but include these keywords. These are very important keywords that should be found in every QA's CV resume profile. What I would do is I would upload the template that I have on my LinkedIn profile. You can get it from there. Meanwhile, if you have anything with respect to CV, you can also connect with us on our Insta ID wherein we are uploading few jobs, memes, testing related content for you, Instagram, right? And if you are interested for free mock interviews, you can share your CV at this particular email address, right? So that's it for this video. I thank you so much for watching this video. And one more thing I would like to add is the resume that you will create. Don't copy paste the content that I have put on the template CV. Create your own wordings, create your own content. And the final uh, 
document that you will have that would that should be in the format of PDF. PDF format is very important. And whenever you are sharing your CV, always rename it with your first name underscore last name underscore CV underscore QA two years of experience or three years of experience, something like that. So it becomes very easy for the recruiter to identify and shortlist your profile. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.